Hello guys, this is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be covering Roma and Roma Prime Build Guide video. Now, well, keep in mind that I'm a little bit sick right now, so you can, you know, probably hear in my voice at the moment. So, let's just try to, I guess, you know, tolerate me for the next, I guess, five minutes and uh, doing this, I guess, build guide. Now, Roma. B the basic concept of Roma is he can increase his armor, health, shields and reload speed if you so choose now this all depends on the element that you want to use uh, either it be cold fire toxin and electricity the ones that i use is going to be cold first then fire then the electricity i mean i don't really use toxin and electricity just i mostly use cold now cold increases your armor fire increases your health toxin increases your reload speed and electricity you know increases your shields now we're going to be focusing on cold this video so let's get into the abilities because the two main abilities that we are going to be using is elemental ward and vex armor now elemental ward depending on the, the i guess status that you choose cold is going to be in my case i'm going to have an armor increase of 406 a damage motor power of 8.13 percent or times sorry and a status chance of 67 and vex armor which is the second useful ability of roma is going to be uh, armor increase of 948% and a damage increase of 745. So, those are the main two abilities, and this is what the build looks like. Keep in mind that uh, four of my mods are not maxed out, so continuity, blind rage, the umbra of fiber, and umbra of vitality are not maxed out. So, I'm gonna have more health, more armor, and of course, my power strength is gonna be a little bit higher. So, these percentage values will be higher for you if you have these mods maxed out and of course these percentages will be or numbers will be higher as well now i also have auger secrets and i have streamline right here i have narrow minded for more what's it called duration because you do not need range with roma and we have the three humble mods uh, fiber intensify and vitality respectively now you can combine many types of builds with him. You you can choose to use the umbral mods. You don't have to. You can use different mods if you want to. Uh, for example, you can, let's say... Oh, I wouldn't really take anything from this build away. I would, instead of Augur Secrets, if I were you, I would put Transient Fortitude. Just for that increase uh, numbers. But honestly, this build seems to be working pretty well for me. I haven't had much trouble playing with Chroma in any sort of mission type. Uh, the only thing you have to keep in mind is Chroma is not invincible. He does not have a Rhino Shield that can last for a while. He doesn't have Revenant's ability that makes him invincible. I forgot what the ability is called. Uh, the, the thing is, Armor just decreases the damage you take, but you still take damage. There's no 100% damage reduction with with armor increases. You have to keep in mind that Chroma, his abilities are mostly used in a way that you delay the inevitable. So you're literally stalling and stalling and killing the enemies faster than they kill you. You're finding ways to replenish your health and armor, and the enemies are just dying in front of you because you're killing them faster than they can kill you. Now... I'm going to be showing off the build against some 150 level heavy gunners. So I'm going to summon 10 of them. And first things first, activate Elemental Ward, then activating Vex Armor. As you can see, if they attack my shields, my armor increases. And if they attack my health, which they currently really can't, increases my damage. So this is the, uh, oh, I guess the basic damage that you do, uh, but it does have that 8 multiplier from uh, Elemental Ward. So, as you can see, pretty plain and simple. That was just with the 8% increase, and the Kroner Prime was able to slice them real fast. Just because I actually forgot, sorry you guys, uh, some of you wanted to see my melee build. This is my Kronen Prime build that I use. It has two form on it. I'm using uh, the Sovereign Outcast stance, Prime the Reach, Berserker, Blood Rush, Condition Overload, Vicious Frost, Prime Fever Strike, Organ Shatter, and Weeping Wounds. And this is the main build that I use for Chrome Prime. I don't really use any other build. This is my go-to build with this weapon. And the Cooler Nuker is sort of like a 
uh, a damage slash status build so i do have a couple of status effects i could have more but i don't really want to this seems to be working in my case so i wanted to keep that in mind that some of you guys want to show uh, me to show you some of the weapons that i use and what mods i used on them so there you go now you know make this a little bit difficult on me i'm gonna summon 20 of them this time and then i'm going to do the same thing activate my vex arm and elemental ward uh, you do apply a cold status effect on them which makes them shoot much slower so i'm gonna make them shoot my health this time and like that my percentages go up and as you can see they're already maxed out and i'm virtually one-shotting them these guys don't have any status effects on them but as you can see pretty plain and simple now this guy's full health as you can see now he's not he disappeared somewhere in the abyss i mean it i mean Honestly, they can't really do anything. Yes, they shoot me a couple of times, but as you can see, 20 enemies killed like it's nothing. Uh, your build is very important with this Warframe and also your weapons that you use. As you can see, I'm getting health back because on my Sentient, or my, I think it's uh, Helios, yes it is. On my Helios, I have a mod that is called, let me just show you, I think it's called Rejuven, not Rejuvenation, it's called Sanctuary, no, not Sanctuary, where is it? I'm trying to find a mod. I can't really find a medic pack. Yes. Then it will occasionally heal its owner, restoring 12% of health over five or four seconds. It seems like a pretty good uh, mod to have on yours. You know, you look good companion. So that's really cool. As you can see, I'm max health and I didn't even pick up any, any health orbs. So yeah, pretty plain and simple. Just going to demonstrate it again. Let's see how it would look without actually putting any of my abilities on there. So, you know, what I would do is put some status effects on the enemies. You know, getting down right here. And uh, I was lucky enough to have my shield gate activated and i did put radiation on them so they're shooting each other uh you know shooting each other but as you can see my health is going down luckily enough not all of them are shooting me but your health goes down really fast and if they weren't shooting each other i would be that dead so having a lot of armor in warframe makes you live longer who would have thought so that is Chroma in a nutshell. You virtually just delay your death as much as you possibly can. Uh, it doesn't mean you're gonna die. You can literally stay invincible and not die once inside of a survival mission or an uh, arbitration mission or whichever kind of hardcore mission you want to play. Uh, the thing is, you just have to have a decent loadout with yourself and uh, kill the enemies faster than they kill you. So. That is going to be Chroma Prime and Chroma build video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated by me. It's going to help the channel as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And this has been the Gaming Weasel. Over and out. Peace.